everyone! This month's coding challenge is all about how to use the video sensing extension in Scratch. The first thing you'll need to do is add this extension to Scratch. Come down here to these little extension block and then choose video sensing. You're going to want to allow your camera. You can see me! I'm going to use these sensing blocks to create a whack-a-bowl game. In order to do that, I'm going to need to change the sprite from Scratch Cat to a bowl. The first bit of code we need is where to place our bowl. It's kind of big when it first starts, so we should probably have the size set to 50%. Then we want our bowl to start somewhere at the top of the screen, but in a random position. We also want our bowl to keep dropping by negative 2 forever. Let's have a look so we can see this code in action. It is starting at a random position each time, which is what we want. Now we're going to add in the code so that when we whack it with the video sensing, it goes back up to the top. The first bit of code we need in order to make this happen is an if statement. We're also going to need a comparison block, which is in our operators category. What we want is to check if video sensing is detecting movement on our bowl sprite. If it does detect movement, we want the sprite to go back up to the stop, top and start all over again. We need to go into the video sensing blocks and we're going to say if video motion on sprite is greater than a number. The higher the number, the harder the game will be. So let's pick a high number like 80. So if the if statement is true, we want the sprite to go back up to the top. We can just duplicate the previous block we used rather than writing it again. So let's test this out. You can see when I move my finger on the bowl, it goes up to the top. It even works with my head. Next, we want some kind of scoring system. So we're going to make it so that if we hit the bowl, we increase our score by a point. First, we need to go into variables and you want to make a variable called score. You can see that I've already done that. So all we have to do in order to increase the score is change my variable score by one. Now every time we hit the bowl, we're going to increase our score by one. But what if the bowl falls all the way to the bottom? We should probably lose some points. To do that, we will also need to use another if statement. In order to have our sprite to have something to sense, we're going to go into our backdrop and edit it using the paintbrush options. And we're going to draw just a line of color at the bottom. Now that we have this line, we're able to use the sensing blocks to choose the option touching color in our if statement. So if the sprite is touching this particular color at the bottom of the backdrop, we want our sprite to go back up to the top and we want to change the score by minus 10. Okay, let's try it out. You can see I'm gaining points as I hit it. And let's see what happens if it falls. Okay, I lose points. Perfect. But there is an issue with the score. What we want it to do is reset every time we press the green flag. And all we have to do is use this set variable at the very top to zero. And it resets our score. This game is pretty much complete, but it would definitely be a lot more fun if we had more than one bowl falling at a time. To accomplish this, we can use the clone function in order to create duplicates of this particular sprite. Let's go ahead and do that. We're going to go into our control blocks and we're going to use a repeat block under where we set our size. Then we're going to use the create a clone of myself block that is also in the control category. 10 is probably going to be too much, so I will change it to five. Now we can use the when I start as a clone block and just duplicate all of the code from our original sprite and attach it to this block.
Now we can see we have five more bowls with hardly any extra coating. Our last step is to go into the code in our backdrop and make sure that our video sensing is set to come on when the green flag is clicked and that it is set to the right transparency. The higher the number, the less you'll be able to see of yourself. This game can be modified in lots of interesting ways. So have fun creating your own interactive game. Happy coding!